hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today and today it is my league one predictions league one did not you know as a few games postponed um last week due to the international call up so there will be very minimal um results to go over as i go through the fixtures for this weekend and um, this video is sponsored by lol t-shirt company as the part of the deal i've done with them they have agreed to sell my first lot of merch. The links will be down in the description below. Um, but, you know, uh, feel free to check it out after you've watched this video. Um, but, guys, you know what I do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So, the first guy I'll talk about is Akita Stanley versus Sunderland. Sunderland did not play... Uh, previous weekend as I've said in the top of this video due to the international call-ups um, so there's only Accrington's results to go on that's a thrill against Bristol Rovers probably a fair result um, if I'm all honest with that one uh, you know where both teams are basically stable in the Bristol Rovers and Accrington Stanley you know as I said it's probably just about a fair result but for this one, I've gone for a 3 1 Sunderland win. My next one is Wimbledon versus Shrewsbury. Wimbledon losing to MK Dons away from home. Um, yeah, again, that's the only other result I've got to reflect on. Um, Shrewsbury did not play. It's one of those things where all these internationals, and yet. People question why can't the Premier League and Championship play too. Um, I know, for example, that a lot of teams don't have international call-ups, so they are still free to play. Um, but Wimbledon losing uh, two one to MK Dons away from home. Um, I know about a bit of the rivalry between them, but on the other side, which I do, I cover like a middle bloke um if for say um i think that's just quite the fair result i do think Wimbledon were very unlucky not to get a point i will put that in there um but for this one i've gone for a one all scoreline for that one my next one is blackpool versus mk dons literally just spoke about mk dons blackpool losing three to coventry at st andrews um with MK Dons, as I said, uh, probably, I don't think that MK Dons was a fair result. I do think Wimbledon were very unlucky not to get a point out of that game. But MK Dons do look like to trying to wiggle their way back into the championship. Blackpool, losing 3-2 to Coventry at St Andrews. Obviously, that's where Coventry City are playing their home games this season. It is... One of them things, but well, I think Coventry has started to settle in now um, for this season. Hopefully I'll be back at the Rico Arena before long, but we have to wait and see. Um, but for this game, I've gone for a 3-0 Blackpool win. My next one is Burton Albion versus Coventry. Just literally spoke about Coventry. Um, you know... Uh, beating Blackpool 3-2 at St Andrews probably much the respective result but it's one of those things where you know you're setting it in so it will happen um, but for this one I've gone for a 2-1 Coventry City win my next one is Gillingham versus Wickham hooray first two teams I could cover um, Wickham losing three one to Lincoln, and I will talk about Lincoln in a minute. There's some big news coming out of Lincoln, um, and Gillingham two two with Tramia Rovers. Wickham beating Lincoln three one. Probably expected a little bit more from Lincoln, but I know Wickham, you know, start to wiggle their way back into the championship as well. Hopefully, there are so many teams in this calendar year that your trying to make the next step up um but this one i like especially the lower leagues in the english pyramid um Gillingham 
2-2 against Tramia Rovers, probably about a fair result. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Gillingham win. My next one is Ittridge Town versus Doncaster. Doncaster beat Rotherham 2-1 at home. Um, you know, probably, probably expect a little bit more from Rotherham, if I'm all honest. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 2-0 Ittridge win. My next one is Lincoln Town versus Bristol Rovers. Now, let me speak about Lincoln. Bristol Rovers did do 3-3 free -free with Akka Stanley. I'll talk about that a little bit in just a minute. Lincoln looks like their manager and assistant manager is on their way out to Huddersfield. Um, youth that don't know Huddersfield sat their manager, I believe, just before the international break. Um, and the Lincoln manager and the Lincoln assistant manager... Um, I look at well in the frame to get the Huddersfield job. Thoroughly deserved, I do think, for them to get the job up at Huddersfield. About time they got to show what they could do in the higher divisions. No disrespect to Lincoln whatsoever. I'm just hoping that Lincoln can keep on doing what they're doing under their new manager, under their new manager if it comes in. Um, Bristol Rovers, 3-3 with Africa Stanley. Your... You know, it, as I said, it's probably expected. I did mention that on the video. Um, but as far as this, uh, this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Lincoln win. My next one is Oxford versus Tramia. Tramia, 2-2 two -two with Gillingham. Oxford, I think, yeah, again, a team that did not play. Um, but I'll go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Peace Bar versus Rochdale. Um, Peace Bar and Rochdale, I don't think they played, so just give you the result. Um, it's a one all scoreline for that one. Wolfram versus Bolton. Wolfram did play, they lost 2 1 to Doncaster at home, as I've, I've already said in this video. I was probably expecting a little bit more from Wolfram. Um, but yeah, again, Bolton uh, did not play again. But Bolton have some nine players on transfer deadline day. Um, you know, after being saved, hopefully Bolton be on their way back up. Uh, you know, it's hard to see Berry go through this trouble. Let alone if Bolton has to go through it as well. Um, but I'm hoping, uh, you know, Bolton will be one of the teams that do get saved and do get where they belong, um, whether that's League One, Championship, Premier League. Um, but hopefully the will the re the rebuild at Bolton start to happen. But I'll go for a two one Bolton win for that one. My last one for this weekend is Southend versus Fleetwood. Now none of them Oh Fleetwood played this weekend, sorry. Um, two one uh, winners over Oxford Fleetwood were, um, but Southend yet yeah, again I don't think they played. Um, you know all this international breaks. It's you know, as I said it. It's going to be hard to reflect on the results. Um, but Fleetwood did beat Oxford two one at home. Probably expected. Um, but for this one I've gone for a two 0 Fleetwood win. But guys, um, you know what to do give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit the links down below to see my first lot of merch, to check on the lolt-shirtcompany.com. Um, you know, it's all down in the links below. But guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.